Need this? said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these uh, farmhouses. This has got to be it. Boozer! Are you in here? Nope. Not in here. These, these are his boot prints. They got to be. This looks like it. Good book to read. Whiskey bottle. Empty. Wait a second. Case of beer? Boozer. Booze, man. Hey, Nick. <laughs> How's it going, brother? You said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh, we, oh, oh, the other farm. The, I'm, um, I, I, I went to the other farm. You know, I, I found a sixer. <laughs> so, I thought I was walking. Sunset, so uh, I just walked to the other shore, you know? Like, not the head of her. Ah, shit. Ah. Jesus, Boozer, what are you doing? Which way? More beer bottles. Empty. No tracks. Okay. So you're not in the barn. Oh, yeah, that's like a barn. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's take a look around. Boozer, are you in here? Booze man. Upstairs. Okay, now where? Another bedroom. What do we got? And another beer bottle. That's wet or oh. I'm not gonna ask. Boozer, where are you? Booze! I, I thought you were gonna come um, have a beer with me and take a walk. 
Boozer, just where are you? Would you look around? You could tell me what you see, what's nearby. Give me a give me a landmark or something. I already told you. Oh. Oh, look at that shit. Look at what, Boozer? What do you see? The road. The road. Ah, wow. This is this is gone. Like, like somebody came and just swept it away. The road's gone. Oh yeah. The the like somebody came and just swept it away. Gone. I'm walking and walking. I'm and and now the road is just gone. Where where are you going, Boozer? Home. That's where I'm going. Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. The home. Damn it, Boozer. This is it. That's gotta be him. Wait, no, not this way. All right, what have we got? Gotcha. without my bike. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I, uh, I followed your tracks. I just think you taught me. Uh, Boozer, come on, man. Stay put, will ya? For a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, well, we can't home. go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you. Don't want to be no. doing you want to take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! Okay. So this is it? This is how we're going out? Get out no, here, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? Huh? Did you? No, what did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle, and you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer... Is this it? That's how we're going out. Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Move faster, man. Ah! This is cursed! Wrecked cars. I see him, loser! Stay out of the way! Oh, I see him! 
loser! That's the last of them. Uh, we're gonna be okay. I, I know. I knew it all along. Hey, hey, Deke. Boozer, listen. I just want to say thank you, man. I mean it. Boozer, uh... Just listen, goddammit. You came out here, and you saved my sorry ass. Again. I owe you, brother. I owe you. No, no, Boozer. Uh, I owe you. All right, look. You gonna be okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. I worked at the Humane Society. Deke, Had a small Deke, office. Deke. It's Outside been keeping you away so long. Where? How's it going? Hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, please, thank you. So, oh. if it oh, I'm sorry about that. So, uh, you, you want me to... You want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Uh... about the freaker sometimes. <laughs> Finn, we miss you. It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. Okay, let's go. You here to buy something? Let me get the gate. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I want to talk about trucks. Now, I don't much care for them. They keep you numb, unreliable, and silent. In 1996, the CIA was accused of dealing cocaine in Central America. Used it to help them control the masses. With the fence sticky fingers on a slice of the globe pie. Once they figured out how well that shit worked, well, then they decided to set their sights here at home. Make drug addicts of us good old American taxpayers. They brought cocaine up from South America by the plane, though. Barrels of the stuff got us hooked on it. Kept us complacent. Kept us high. Kept us under the heel of their rich boots. And oh, did they get profit from our misery? The feds made 
billions to fund their secret operations, all while destroying the very heart and soul of this good country. Thankfully, at last, all that is at last. At least, I Stay sober. Stay alive. This is Mark Cooper for real free. Did you ever lose an arm, Cope? Mike, hey, what's up? Ricky handed me a shopping list. Said it was for Boozer. Said I should radio you. Okay, where's Ricky? Something came up with Andy, I don't ask. Anyway, she needs a galvanized metal pipe. Two. Kind used in building. That's a carbon alloy blade. The kind hunters use. And finally, a metal scrap. That list make any sense to you? Yeah, my like you said, I don't ask. <laughs> Deacon. Okay, what do I need? I need a blade or a metal tube. Scrap. Ah, Jesus, Ricky. Metal tube, metal tube. It can't just be any metal tube, can it? We've gotta find one from the construction site. Wait, 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 hold on a second. There was a house um, under construction at Marion Forks, but I can find something there. Boozer, you there? Yeah, I've seen him. Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. I just got off work. Sometimes, you know? I got to spend the morning like, hauling buckets of shit. Oh, Jesus, goddamn schizo. Deke, hey, when you get time, swing by the camp. I need to talk to you. Hey, Ricky. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll be by. Deacon out. Raiders, damn it. What are you waiting to jump me? Huh? Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back with that old too. Where are you? Wait, 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 where was that sporting goods store?
gotta take a closer look. Nope, wrong direction. All right, where? Back on track. This ought to be enough. Now, uh, I just gotta get all this crap back to Ricky. Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you were asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do, yeah? Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah. Boozer's one of us now. Stop by any time. Deep. Thank God. Ricky, what's wrong? Do you know a man named Joshua Harper? Harp? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know him. I never trusted the son of a bitch. He, uh, wrapped a black bandana around his head like he was pff, some goddamn hipster or something. Yeah, well, your instincts are pretty spot on. He shot Dan Lane in the back over a card game and took off. Oh, Jesus, where is he now? A patrol spotted him heading south. They were too scared to even approach him. I guess he'd met up with a group of drifters. I really need your help on this one. Okay, uh, I'll handle it. I marked where they spotted him on your map. Thanks, Deke. Got good shit in stock today. Dan's people want proof that Harper is dead. Okay, 
Okay, well, this is gonna be a little bit messy. Okay, well, it, it might be a little bit messy. Fine. All right. Sure. Yes. Got it? Oh, Jesus, what a mess. Head back and talk to Ricky. Get my credits updated. Someone's coming. Oh, hey. Open up. I've seen him before. Deke. How's my favorite bounty hunter? Just right in the okay. crease there. Okay. Got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go. That's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, well, I was all Deacon. <laughs> oh, that's he really, really that. cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, those yeah. three goddamn musketeers. Hung oh, guard, you fucking that's ripper. Right. Pretty cool. Oh, hey. Jesus. Oh. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, maybe this hey. wasn't that good of an idea? Yeah, maybe. Damn it. Okay.
I could notice was the way you'd say goodbye. If you could open your eyes and see all of our lives, you leave me shattered, broken from your. I'm not gonna lie, I just want to die. I'm not over and over with you. If you could open your eyes and see all of our life, it's been a long time coming, but I don't want to. St. John, you there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. O'Brien, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene. Right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. And one last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey. Hey. You're headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, yeah. O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I tell him he twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Sometimes. Where are we headed? Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? The Nero Chopper is going to be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, O'Brien, he's, uh, he's what? Your shot caller? Handler? No! Boozer, you know why the hell we're out here? asking. Seems like he tells you to jump. You ask how high. It's not how it is. How are you holding up? Not bad. Nah, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working the farm. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at uh, by Adrian on the Idaho border. I'd spend summers working the beet fields. Yeah, a little dirt bike I tooled around on. That's where I learned to ride. 
not careful, I'm gonna start calling you. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Deke. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> okay, stay close. Right behind you. Yeah, but there it is. Jesus. Never thought I'd see one of those again. Here, I mean. Hey, I know what watch. The soldiers come out first, they secure All the LZ. Right, spread out, secure and the they're perimeter. boy genius. Researcher, scientist, whatever Stand the hell. By. He comes out, he looks around. Do what? Whatever science shit they're doing out here. How the hell would I know? The one who's been spying on. Now, we're picking up scat samples. <laughs> you mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. So, you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. As well as manicious berries from Juniperus commonus. Yep. So, why do we care? You hear that? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? It means they're not gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. <laughs> Freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Okay, uh, head back to the bike. Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? 
Come in, O'Brien. Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. It does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien said he had news. He knew her middle name. Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she uh, survived. The stab wound she survived. Yeah, yeah, according to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of the Okay, so, so she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived? They survived. Look, 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 there was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel? The soldiers? The guys with the guns? The guys who should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. I know all They're too about fast. hordes. Oh, I didn't know that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. That there was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, that we had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand, if you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell, Boozer? Boozer? 
Oh, God damn it, booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Ah, shit. Where the hell did you go? Tracks. It's gotta be his. Okay. What the hell is this?